guys, what's up? It's me, Sheena, and welcome to another video. And it's now 4.48 in the afternoon, and in this video, we're going to share to you the elements of the story, which are the characters, setting, plot, theme, including the moral lesson of the story. And the story that we're going to share to you is the Panay Visayan creation myth, which is the Tungkong Langit and Alinsina story. And this time, I am with my classmates and you will get to know them later on. But before anything else, let me first give you the summary of the story, Tungkong Langit na Lansina. So, let's go! In the beginning, there was nothing. The world is made of mist, formless, and shapeless things. From those nothing, there were two gods who named Tungkong Langit and Lansina. They were in love to each other and got married. Tungkong Langit took all the responsibility in writing everything in the world. So he left every day to do his job and leave Alunsina in their home. While Tungkong Langit was away to do his job, Alunsina took all her time to beautify herself and started to doubt her husband's faith in love. She then started getting jealous and sent some breeze to spy on her husband. Tungkong Langit found out and confronted Alunsina and decided to send her away. After their quarrel, Alunsina ran away from her husband and never came back. Tungkong Langit terribly missed her. He became depressed and tried to look for Alunsina but he just got upset every time he looked for her with nothing. Because of this, yearning for his love to come back, he instead spent his time in making those wonderful seas, the earth, the flowers, and the trees just to attract Alunsina. Tungkong Langit thought that he would succeed and make Alunsina come home, but sadly, she didn't. He then used Alunsina's jewels to add stars and lastly, her favorite comb as the moon to add the brightest light in the night sky. Up to now, according to the story, whenever it thunders or rain, it is Tungkong Langit calling for his beloved Alunsina to come back home after she ran away because of his wrath at her disobedience. Alunsina, however, is still yet to be found to this day. And that's the summary of the Tungkong Langit Alunsina. And now, let's talk about the characters of the story. So the first one is Tungkong Langit. So the pillar of the sky. So next is Alunsina, the unmarried one. So they are both actually a husband and a wife. And they are also gods and goddesses. So let's talk about Tungkong Langit. So Tungkong Langit was very industrious, loving, and kind guy. And he was also a very hardworking guy. While on the other hand, Alunsina was lazy and jealous goddess. So her only work was to sit by their window, combing her hair, and also amuse herself by her pointless thoughts. So as you can see, the behavior of Alunsina was very opposite to Tongkong Langit's behavior. So, what is setting? A setting is where and when the story happens. It is the date and place in the story. The setting in Tungkong Langit and Alunsina is the ethereal space. The ethereal space where the water was constantly warm and breeze and was forever cool. Exposition There was uncertainty at the beginning. The world is made of formless and shapeless things. Two gods, Tungkong Langit and Alunsina, came from a mystery and got married. Thrising action. In creating the world, Tungkong Langit took the responsibility. His job was restore order and he goes to his work every day. Alunsina, on the other hand, is a jealous goddess and she sent the sea breeze to spy on Tungkong Langit. Tungkong Langit was not happy when he found out that Alunsina sent the sea breeze to spy on him. He sent her away and she disappeared. Falling Action Tungkong Langit had become very lonely and he had no idea where to find Alunsina. 
resolution. Tungkong Langit came to the earth and planted the ground with trees and flowers. He scattered his wife's jewelry in the sky. Alonsina's necklace became the stars, her comb became the moon, and her crown became the sun. However, Alonsina did not return. This type of conflict in the story is man versus man. Because when Tongan Lani told his wife that he would be away for some time, when he was gone, the jealous Alonsina, however, set the breeze to spy on Tongan Lani. Tungkong Langit found this out and he became very angry. When he returned home, uh, he told her that it was very ungodly to her to be jealous when there was no other god except the two of them. But Alonsina resented this reproach and they started to quarrel. When Tungkong Langit lost his temper in his anger, he told his wife or he drove his wife away and no one knew where she went. The theme of the story is all about love, trust, anger, regret, and jealousy. And the last but not the least is a moral lesson. Trust plays an important role in a relationship. Being in a relationship doesn't mean that you always know what your partner does and where he or she goes. You should trust your partner unconditionally and minimize your jealousy that brews in yourself. Anger can also be the one that can lead to destruction and separation to the both of you. If you have misunderstandings, think before you speak out. It's better to talk and listen to each other's side instead to let your emotions take over. Don't let anger be the dominant that will cause you to separate ways. So you should check your temper well, control your anger, and be rational and have a clear mind always. For regret is always at the end and never in the beginning. So that's all for today. We hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in our next vlog. Bye!